Sense of Gaming with another video today, and today I made a ground pound in Minecraft. But first, I'm gonna say a few things because uh, the video is really late this week, and there's a reason for that. Because, uh, well, for the past year, I think I've been doing videos from a crappy budget laptop, which is really meant for working and not gaming at all or editing. So it takes really long to do all that stuff, and I finally got a PC. So I've been hooking that up, getting it working, but it keeps having this problem where it randomly just restarts and I've been spending a lot of time trying to fix that and just getting the whole thing set up. So I kind of just, well I already had the system but I kind of forgot in all of that to record the video and get it uploaded in time, it just didn't really work. So it's here now and there will be another video this weekend just again. Or Monday, it's most of the time it's Monday. It's really not that, it, nah, it depends. But probably Monday there will be another video. Um, so yeah, sorry for that. But this will mean that it will be a lot easier for me to make videos. Because the rendering will go faster. Uh, it will just be less laggy when recording and making the systems. And I'll just, I will no longer really be limited by my what my laptop can do. Because I will have a really fast computer. So that's great news. Uh, so let's uh, demonstrate the system I made. So I just right click on the map. I jump. I go down. And you saw that. Uh, you might have seen that happen. You might have not. And uh, now it was basically just ground pound. So now let's do a better demonstration by putting some creepers around me here. And in uh, doing it in third person mode. So I activate it, I jump, and boom. You saw the fancy particles, and it killed all the creepers, except for this one. Let's kill this one. Die. Boom. Oh, why did it not work? Die. So yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've had this idea for a long time, and this uh, I finally did it now. So, uh, let's start here. First we are of course clearing a filled map because this is a really old system. I also use this in my custom arrow so it's basically if you have a map you right click it it becomes a filled map which is another item and when it clears that this comparator activates which then activates these three command blocks which which then activate this command block. So what's in these command blocks? Sorry. This is uh, almost the same command as what I as what I used in the uh, landmines. It might even be the same. It's just execute at the person, uh, just at any person. So this system does not work in multiplayer, by the way. It only works in single player. But yeah, it summons a silverfish at the nearest player with no AI, uh, invisibility, and a custom name of Alpha. And then also it does the uh, cloud particles that it makes, which is just to give a cool effect when you jump that you have the particle. Uh, effects the cloud effect and it gives you jump boost five for two seconds and then this uh, summons another silverfish called beta but this it summons it four blocks above you now this is for a very specific reason this is because right here I'm testing if I'm near alpha which is on the ground so first it tests if I am on the ground and uh, yeah right here it tests if I'm at alpha and for some yeah and then it Whoa, this is awkward. When I am at alpha, it tests again if I am at alpha. That is really unnecessary. Why is this command block even here? So, when I am at alpha on the ground, oh, it will basically, that this one can go as well. That's really weird. I don't know why I did that. Because then I can basically, uh, what that does is just sets this block to air which then unblocks it because when this is redstone that uh, uh, this redstone repeater is blocked and the signal can't go through so this one is testing if I'm at beta but remember beta is four blocks above me so I'm only at beta when I use the jump boost to jump so this is basically a system that detects if I am first at the ground then jump in the air and then land again and then uh, while I'm landing it executes all these command blocks if that's all positive and stuff it will execute all of these command blocks this is basically a lot of the so, uh, same commands which basically in a ring around me the eight blocks around me the square it summons in every block a throne potion which is basically 
a instant damage potion. Uh, yeah, an instant damage creep potion. So it's pretty powerful since it insta killed those creepers. If you want to have it less OP or more OP, you can just very simply change the amplifier in all of these. So, yeah, there's basically just six of those. Oh no, eight of those. And then this one just kills the silverfish. So that uh, when you do it again, there won't be several silverfish, which basically messes with the test four commands. And then here it does a large explode uh, particle, which uh, it happens just about when you hit the ground. Not exactly, but yeah, just about when you hit the ground. Uh, could be made more specific when you hit the ground, like when it uh, you wait a little longer with killing silverfish. You could test if you're at alpha and then make it activate, but I just did it this way. It's fine, I think. so. And then it says, sets this back to a redstone block, so that's ready to be used again the system and which I now need to do by hand because otherwise it's not gonna work the next time I use it and I'm gonna need to kill the silverfish because <laughs> I kind of mess with the system by going in the command box there um, so yeah that's basically how the system works it's pretty simple I think it's really cool and yeah uh, if you have any questions uh, just always Comment in, the uh, comment in the description below, no, just uh, comment, uh, there will be a world download in the description below as always, uh, I'm just going to say this again, the world download, what I basically do is I always update it from the last one, so the, uh, the world download link in the previous videos, they don't work anymore, because I delete that file, I upload a new one, and then that one works, so the world download only works on my newest video, because otherwise I would have to go and change that link on all of the videos, which right now is doable. But if I keep doing world downloads, it at some point just becomes impossible to do. And it's all just one world, so this is all my systems ever since the Catapult video. So I really don't think it's a problem. So yeah, just remember that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.